is Jay Hen with Jay Hen Travel and Services coming to bring you another travel video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a shorter version of what I normally pack for a cruise. A few weeks ago, I did a live, and if you want to check out a more in depth, a longer video on what I normally pack for a cruise, you can check out that video that I'll leave up here in the notifications, and you'll see the notification bar come by right about now. So if you got a little more time, you can check that video out. But if you're just trying to see kind of a quick video of what I normally pack when I go on a cruise, stay tuned to this video. As always, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can stay up to date on all my travel videos that I tend to post and I tend to post at least three to four times a week. Right now while I'm filming, it's a little windy outside. So you guys, I'm going to be in competition with the wind. So I'm going to try to make this video kind of nice, short and quick and straight to the point. But I do have a lot of stuff to show you guys, which most of this stuff is in the other video. Again, it's going to be listed up there in the notifications. And I just want to say too, to check back continually because I will start to list some of the things down in the, in the description that I actually kind of put here and put together for both videos. So let's get to it. One more thing too, I just want to say make sure before you travel on your cruise and your cruise line that you check any restrictions that that cruise line might have because there could be something that I normally pack that may just get past security or may be allowed on one ship but not allowed on another ship and sometimes with there being so many bags, sometimes the cruise line security staff is just not able to take everything that's not allowed on the cruise ship. So let's get into it right now. So because I live in Wisconsin, most of the time when I'm going on a cruise, I'm trying to go someplace that has some sun. So one of the things that I always make sure I pack is sunscreen lotion. I always pack one of these um, pouches that are like waterproof and they can be for cell phones, iPods, or if you just want to, you can just kind of put your information in them. Sometimes you can use them. I use them to put money in, IDs, ship cards. Um, if I have any type of like tickets that I printed out from home and I need to take that on maybe my excursion with me, I'll put that information in here or like a ship schedule or sometimes a map of the area I'm in. So I always like to pack these. They can either, two, they're good because they can go around your neck. They can clip onto your clothing. You can clip them on and strap them on your arms as well. Okay, let me keep it moving. I think I'm talking a little bit longer than what I wanted to talk. One thing I always pack too, I pack some type of bag tag, especially on my luggage for the airplane and for after the cruise. So that way too, I can get my luggage as quick as possible, especially if you have a color luggage that's kind of uh, popular or a luggage style that's very popular. You always wanna have something like this on your luggage or tie a bow or a special string or just get you a luggage that no one else has. It's very colorful or that'll really stand out. But I always pack a bag tag on my bag so I can find my stuff quickly as possible. Always take a good old selfie stick. Um, next up, we were talking about water and swimming. Because I have uh, Samsung phones that charge wirelessly and they are water resistant, sometimes I've noticed in the past that if I do take my cell phone into the water, a lot of times when I get back to the room, the charging port may be wet and you, it won't work for a while or a few hours or sometimes a few days during the cruise. So I always typically pack one of these, a wireless charging um, base. But again, now I most of the time keep my cell phone inside one of those pouches and don't even use it to take pictures at all. But in the instance that I do, I take one of these. So that way during that time frame I'm on the boat, if the charging port isn't working, I can have a wireless charger with me. Comes in pretty handy. Next up, I always try to take some um, some type of device where I can get some extra plug or USB ports to where I can charge things. When, uh, another thing that I typically take too, I take a travel wallet. As you can see, I don't use this for everyday purposes, but if I am traveling, a lot of times I will use this because I can fit my passport in there. Next. Um, I do take, you know, some wipes. These can come in handy too, you know, if you're out on the beach, um, if you're out doing some type of excursion. Um, next up is just, you know, on the cruise ship, they tend to have like, you know, small mugs, maybe six ounce mugs or something like that. But again, sometimes when you're sitting down, you're eating at the buffets, you might not feel like getting up 
or you may want to go to a different part of the ship and you may want to have enough coffee or tea to last you for a while so i typically take some type of thermo i'm not a coffee drinker but i am a tea drinker and this can just help me from having to get up to get something to drink or carry three and four glasses back to the table at a time or it helps me to be able to go around the ship without having to spill my tea. So I tend to pack a thermal cup with me. Also, I tend to take a water bottle with me um, for the excursions and just to have around the ship because most of the time you're getting your drinks up on the Lido deck. So if I want to fill it up with water or lemonade or juice, I tend to take my own water bottle as well as recently on my last cruise, I took this. I got this nice, um, water bottle holder and again this is pretty good because it has a strap where it can strap on you as well as it's good for walking around the ship and getting off the ship because then i can be hands free too and just let that just kind of hang while i'm holding my camera or just walking around sightseeing picking up stuff shopping and things like that or if i'm out in the club at nighttime dancing so it's pretty good and convenient because my water bottle fits in there and I'm good to go hanging on my neck and I can just, you know, be out moving and grooving and having a good time without having to worry about carrying the bottle. Um, next up, it's very important to look at your cruise restrictions and what's allowed, but most times, most cruise ships do allow each passenger that's 21 and older to bring a bottle of wine. So I do make sure that I pack my bottle of wine, unless like this week I'm going on a cruise and I got the unlimited beverage package. So I don't think I'll take a bottle of wine. I also tend to take like a, my own corkscrew and I've noticed that this kind here that's uh, embedded in plastic, or if you can find just a plain plastic corkscrew altogether, um, you might be able to get that through security or TSA. I've never had any issues with putting this inside my backpack uh, going through TSA or with keep putting it in my backpack when I'm going on the cruise or putting it under the uh, plane or leaving it outside with the porters when I go on a cruise. So this does have metal, but for some reason, I don't know, it's never got caught through security or never had any issues with it. So I do take my own corkscrew with me when I travel. Some type of camera device, I tend to take my GoPro. Next up is I tend to take an, um, wireless clippers or shavers. Also to protect from the sun, I tend to take a hat, some type of hat, you know, so on, you know, on the, on the deck of the cruise ship or when I'm going out or on um, the islands and things like that, I do tend to have a hat, you know, to block the sun. Next up, I gotta make sure I pack my swimming gear, you know, and then along with that, I tend to take a pair of sandals and a pair of water shoes. Also, I make sure I take a poncho with me Next, I do tend to take my own goggles and I take my own um, snorkeling gear. Next up, I always pack a backpack or some type of smaller bag with me when I'm going on a cruise. And then I also have this, I call it like a camel back or a water back. But if I have space in my suitcase and I know I'm doing like a, a real adventurous excursion like hiking or biking or horseback riding in the heat, I would take this just because that way I can have water and easy access to water while this is uh, strapped on my back. And so it's very convenient because I can just fill it up with water or juice or whatever I wanna hydrate myself with on that day and pretty much just drink like this. And again, hands are pretty much free and I can be active uh, if I'm riding an ATV, doom, doom buggy. And then it's also very convenient too because it does have pockets and storage space on the side where I can store things too, to where possibly on that day um, that I take this, I can leave my backpack behind because again, I can store things inside of here. And I think right now those are most, most of the things that I want to share about what I normally pack when I go on a cruise. Again, check the description down below and check back frequently because I will update the description below with some of these items and where you might be able to get some of these items from. And again, if you want to see a longer extended version, check out the live video that I did on YouTube on what to pack for a cruise. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and check out my videos. I have a bunch of videos showing different cruise ports as well as showing different cruises. Thanks for watching. And as always, hit the like button, leave a comment and share.